I'm Reverend Olufolake Ike, and this is Building a Happy Home. I'm talking about a home now. And I want to talk about the structure of a home. I've been married for over two decades now, and so I can tell you a thing or two about the structure of a home. Not just because I'm married. I'm also a civil engineer. So I understand what it means to build something that is solid the home has a structure and god was speaking to us about the structure of the home in the book of first corinthians chapter 11 i will take from verse 3 from the king james version the bible says but i would have you know that the head of every man is christ and the head of the woman is the man and the head of christ is god every man praying or prophesying having his head covered dishonored his head but every woman that prayeth or prophesieth with her head uncovered dishonored her head for that is even all one as if she were shaven we all understand that when a woman is shaven in certain culture it simply means that the man is dead she's widowed and as a mark of respect and uh, culture um, she has her hair shaven up now I know you have heard about the scripture a lot of you have on reddit um, somebody must have told you about the scripture and they told you okay why a woman should cover her hair but now that you're reading with me you know they're not talking of hair they're talking about head now the Bible started by explaining what the head is he says, for a man, the head of a man is Christ, and the head of a woman is the man. The Bible says, a man who covers his head. Remember, the head here is not talking about this. It's talking about his head. His head is Christ. And Christ is the word, and the word is the light. The Bible says you cannot light a candle and put it under the bushel. You can cover up the light. So a man who tries to cover the light, who tries to cover the word, dishonors Christ. And a woman who exposes her head, who uncovers her head, dishonors the man. The only person that needs to be uncovered in the marriage relationship is Christ, is the Word. God is just trying to tell us that if we want a good structure, if we want our home to be orderly and for God to take preeminence, the Word of God must be uncovered. Run your family by the revelation of the Word of God. That is to say, a man who does not respect the word, who covers up the word of God, cannot lead a woman in the way in which she should go. And a woman who finds pleasure in exposing the man, when you're praying and prophesying, the only person you see should be Christ, the word of God. When you are bringing into remembrance, you know, when you're telling God, you know, this is what I want you to do. You're not expected to bring your husband to the table of prayer. You're supposed to bring the word of God. I'm sure I'm making sense here. I want you to go back to that scripture. Sit down and ask God, what exactly would you have me do with this word? Remember the head of the Christ. Of, of the man is Christ singles don't marry a man who covers his head who covers the light of the Word of God that is to say the man should have a head as Christ so if he does even have a head as Christ I don't know what we're talking about I'll be back to continue with building a happy God bless you.